Good morning, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are A Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How you all doing out there? What it in the heck day is it? I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. These days go so fast, and I am so sad to see summer go. It's not gone yet, but I'm not a winter person. It's not only the cold temperatures for me, it's the clouds and no sun. So I'm trying to suck up these last, I guess, few weeks, but it's still with us. So I better appreciate what I got, right? <laughs> I read books in the morning. I try, Lord knows. Um, and I read these books because it keeps my mind right. It, it's so much going on and it's a lot of negativity. So we have to choose. Do we want to think high or low? I choose high. So to help myself, I read books. I have this one book, Secret the Power by Rhonda Byrne. I want to read a little bit from there. And this this podcast today is about, oh, I got so many things I want to talk about in one. But what separates people from others? Why are some people living their best life and others are not? Listen to what this book said. The difference between someone who is struggling and someone who has a fabulous life comes down to one thing, love. Those who have a great life imagine what they love and want. They feel the love of what they're imagining more than other people. People who are struggling are unintentionally using their imagination for what they don't love and don't want. And are feeling the negativity of what they're imagining. It's such a simple thing, but it creates vast differences in people's lives. And you can see the difference everywhere you look. The secret of the mastermind is find holy in the use of imagination. Nothing could have been said better than that. Um, Look what else it said. History has proven that those who dare to imagine the impossible are the ones who break all human limitations. In every field of human endeavor, whether science, medicine, sports, the art, or technology, the names of the people who imagine the impossible are engraved in our history by breaking the limits of their imagination. They changed the world. Okay, that's where I was going with this. When I play tennis, this is something I tell myself, there is not a ball that I can't hit. So if that ball is hit short, I'm going up to the net. If that ball is hit long, I'm running backwards to to hit it. I tell myself, there is not a ball I can't get. Even if it looks like, ain't no way she could hit that ball. Sometimes I can get to it because I told myself I could. That's what separates people. Okay, I've been changing my hair. I'm not going to brag about that because I'm not um, daring with hair per se. Um, I'm a ritualistic type person with sometimes, and I was wearing my hair short because it's easy. I like my hair short because it's very thick. And when it grows out, it becomes unruly and I don't have time. I don't have a lot of time right now to fool with hair, but I have been trying these braids thanks to my niece. So now I'm getting these other comments from people. Ooh, you daring. I wish I could try something like that, but you can, it's the fear I'm using the hair as an example, but you hear fear in so many people. I wish I could do that. I wish I could do this. And I think I get frustrated and I'm I'm, kind of like, (laughs) I'm in this weird place. I got to blame myself for some of this. Sometimes I talk and I swear, I feel like people don't understand what I'm saying. And I'm just like re saying it over and over. And it's, it's just the most frustrating place to be. I know how I view life is one way and how others view life is another way. The way I view my life or life is because of the experiences I have had. So I have to do better. That's one of the prayers I pray, believe it or not. Do not expect people to be the way I am or think the way that I do. And I got to work on that because I'm spending time explaining stuff and it's not coming out right and when I get like that I just rather shut up and don't don't talk because sometimes I feel like God wants us to be quiet I know I'm rambling y'all probably like what's she talking about but what I'm trying to say is 
we all think different and you have to watch how you think. If you come from a victim place, why did this happen to me? My life sucks. This person is better off than me. That's a real low vibration. It's negative thinking. Successful people, they, are, they know where there is a wheel, there is a way. There is more than one way to skin a cat. So it starts with your imagination. When I take a shower, I use this Bath and Body Works um, oil, like a bath wash. When I pour it in my hand, that ignites my visualization. I do this every day. I visualize me singing, me with my new guitar, me with my house, me with the love of my life. Boom. Whatever I want, I visualize all of that in a one-minute span. I do that every day. This is how I get what I want because I keep seeing it. Over, I play a movie. Now, that works for me. I'm just trying to give you tips on how I improved my life. I've been depressed. I've been at the bottom. I had I had no money. <laughs> okay, I've been there bad with money. I was bad with money. I've been to the, I've been through all that stuff. Cancer, losing my parents, broken hearted, broken hearted, miscarriage, no money, horrible job. Done, been there, done that. So that's why I do these podcasts and videos because I've been to the bottom and. If you want to change your life, please just apply some of the stuff I'm telling you. Maybe you don't want to journal every day like me or the meditation. You know, everybody has that thing that works for them. But do not be a victim. Do not complain day in and day out and you're not doing anything. It's just a waste of time. And this this clock is ticking. The more we talk, the more the clock is going tick tock. And we need to live our best life. I'm talking to different people right now about this job market. It is an amazing job market. If you want a job, this is your time. Get your resume up and running and apply. If you want your own business, score.org is a, a wealth of free information, retired CEOs, They want to help you with your business plan. So check out that website. I'm going to put that in this podcast. But it all starts with the imagination. It all starts with love and high vibrations. And whether you think you can or you can't, you are right. But it starts with you. Get out of that victim mindset. Stop watching the Joneses over to your right. Do not look at the left. Do not look at your friend. Don't look at your cousin and them. Don't compare yourself. That's the most fatal thing you could do is comparing yourself with others. And I keep hearing this. Do you boo? These are the things I say to myself. Do you boo? Where there's a will, there's a way. And there is more than one way to skin a cat. And where there's a will, there's a way. And there's more than one way to skin a cat. I've been saying that for over probably 15 years now. Those are the mottos I live by. You can change your life. You can change your life. Get out, enjoy your life. Please don't be a victim and stop, you know, watching other people. God has you where you need to be. God don't make mistakes. We do, but he don't. (laughs) And he has you where he, you need to be because we got to remember God, he sees way ahead of us. We think we know what we want, but he sees way ahead of us. And sometimes what we think we want, we don't need, if that makes any sense. All righty. I hope something I said helps. And um, just stay focused on love and your imagination. And dream big. Don't, don't do little stuff that you know you can get. Oh, I want a house. I want a car. We all can get that. If you're paying rent in a car note now, why can't you get a house or a new, a new car? That's that's, that's kind of little stuff. Go bigger. Go bigger. Go bigger. Tammy Sharice Walker. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.